Saint Rose of Lima, born Isabel Flores de Oliva, was the seventh of eleven children in a devout Catholic family. Her parents instilled a deep faith in all their children, and from a young age, Isabel showed an extraordinary devotion to God. She would often spend long periods in prayer, sometimes in the middle of the night, before a shrine she had set up in her room. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. At the age of 11, she received the Sacrament of Confirmation and took the name Rose. As she grew older, Rose became known for her physical beauty, drawing the attention of many young men who saw her as an ideal spouse. However, Rose had no interest in marriage. Instead, she longed to dedicate her life solely to God. Understanding the potential distraction her beauty posed, Rose took drastic measures to deter suitors. She cut off her hair, rubbed pepper on her face, and applied lime juice to her hands to make herself less appealing. Though these actions might seem extreme, her intention was clear, to remain pure and devoted to God, taking Jesus as her only spouse. When her father refused to allow her to become a nun, Rose continued to persevere. After several years, her father permitted her to remain unmarried, allowing her to live in a small hut on the family property where she could focus on solitude, prayer, and her divine spouse. In her hermitage, Rose engaged in acts of charity, caring for the poor and the sick. She supported herself and her family, who were experiencing hardship, by selling lace, embroidery, and flowers at the local market. Inspired by St. Catherine of Siena, Rose practiced severe penances, including sleeping on a hard floor, wearing a crown of thorns, fasting, and engaging in various acts of self-discipline. The Bible reminds us, for the moment all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Hebrews 12:11. Rose embraced this truth and never looked back, committing herself fully to a life of prayer, penance, and love for God. At 20, Rose became a lay member of the Third Order of St. Dominic, following in the footsteps of her role model, St. Catherine of Siena. She continued her life of prayer, penance, and extreme fasting, often sleeping only two hours a night to spend more time in prayer. Her bed was made of broken glass, stones, potsherds, and thorns. Rose wore her crown of thorns constantly, with roses covering the spikes to conceal them, and a spike chain around her waist. Despite the physical hardships, Rose found deep spiritual joy, living a hidden life of extraordinary union with God. For the next 11 years, Rose's life was marked by visions of Jesus, the Virgin Mary, and the saints, as well as intense periods of spiritual dryness. Yet she persevered, knowing that, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. James 1.12 as her union with God deepened, Rose received the grace of knowing the day of her death. At the age of 31, she passed away, entering into eternal life with her Lord. Rose's sanctity was quickly recognized, and she was canonized as the first saint from the Americas. Miraculous healings were attributed to her intercession during her life and continued after her death. It is said that after she passed away, the city of Lima was filled with the scent of roses falling from the sky. Saint Rose of Lima's life was a testament to the transformative power of divine grace and the joy found in total surrender to God's will. Her quotes continue to inspire, Apart from the cross, there is no other ladder by which we may get to heaven. When we serve the poor and the sick, we serve Jesus. Without the burden of afflictions, it is impossible to reach the height of grace. The gift of grace increases as the struggle increases. If only mortals would learn how great it is to possess divine grace, how beautiful, how noble, how precious, how many riches it hides within itself, how many joys and delights. May God bless us through St. Rose's intercession in Jesus' name. Amen. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.